Hi, everybody. If you're looking to send some videos through Gmail, but you're running into file size limits, I'm going to show you an easy way to be able to send these files, a little workaround for this that works both on your phone and your computer. I'm going to start out in the phone app and show you how this works. OK, so when you're in your Gmail app, you want to click the Compose button. Then you want to click this uh, paperclip icon and you can be able to select your photos, your camera. You know, if you want to record a video directly and then be able to send it, you can do that. But I'm just going to go to my photos here and I'm going to click a video and then you click add up top there and you'll see a box pops up here to compress the video and then it adds it directly into the email. Now, it's simple enough. Now, the uh, issue comes when if you want to add a larger file, so I'll go to photos, try to add this larger file. It says that it's too large and the total attachment must be less than 25 megabytes. So what we're going to do if we have a file that's too large is we can send this through the Google Drive. OK, we're going to open our Google Drive here. You're going to upload a file, photos and video. Just go to my recents. We'll upload that. And you see it's processing the upload. A video has been uploaded, but I'm not seeing it on this main page. But if you click on files down at the bottom, you can see all the, the videos. And you can click on that to get a tile view of that. And then what we want to do is we just want to copy the link and then we'll go back to our email and then we'll just paste that link in there. And as long as you have the permission set correctly for your Google Drive, when you send that video, people could be able to click on that, watch the video in your Google Drive or be able to download it and access it that way. Now, if we go into the desktop application or gmail.com. All right. So you go into Compose Email, you click on the little paper icon and let's go into we'll add this open and you'll see that this pops up and says, oh, that's too large. Now, what's great about on the desktop application is it says the attachment will automatically be uploaded to the Google Drive. So on the desktop, it already gives that option. You go, OK, I got it. And then you see the progress bar that is uploading onto the Google Drive and then it adds the attachment in there for you. Hope this helps you out to be able to send those larger videos through email. And if it did, leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. And we will see you in the next video.